The commercial space industry in the 2020s witnessed Elon Musk's SpaceX taking the lead and continuing an unparalleled expansion, yet SpaceX's immense rocket building capacity and seemingly boundless financial resources set a formidable benchmark. However, the reality is that launching satellites into orbit doesn't always demand a towering Falcon 9 booster reaching 70 meters in height. This realization has sparked optimism for newer space startups emerging over the last few decades. Among these innovative space companies, there is a burgeoning group exploring more efficient methods to deploy diminutive nanosatellites into Earth's orbit to cater to the surging demand. One standout in this cohort, which takes center stage in today's episode, is Firefly Aerospace. Their recent achievements have been nothing short of remarkable, even outshining endeavors by Blue Origin. Firefly Aerospace stands as one of today's premier private space startups, making notable strides in the industry, particularly in commercial spaceflight services for orbital deliveries. Recently, on December 22nd, Firefly Aerospace achieved a significant milestone by launching its Alpha rocket on the Fly the Lightning mission after a brief delay of two days due to weather conditions. The mission aimed to transport a payload featuring Lockheed Martin's Electronic Steering Antenna, or ESA, technology into low Earth orbit. Orbit. This payload's primary objective was to showcase faster on-orbit sensor calibration, intending to provide rapid capabilities to U.S. warfighters. This launch holds immense significance, not just for its military payload, but also as the fourth flight of Firefly's Alpha rocket, marking the third consecutive successful orbital launch for the company. While it might not grab headlines at first glance, the strides made by Firefly Aerospace are remarkable considering its humble beginnings just five years ago. Initially one among many struggling startups aiming for a successful orbital launch, Firefly faced setbacks, notably in 2021 with a rocket fire during their first launch. However, their dedication to technological refinement and rigorous testing eventually bore fruit. Their pivotal moment arrived on October 1st of 2022 with the successful launch of the powerful Alpha rocket in the test flight named Victus Knox for the Space Force. This achievement underscored their resilience and commitment to progress despite earlier challenges. This iconic test flight stands as a remarkable milestone not just for Firefly Aerospace, but particularly for its Alpha rocket. Within a year of a catastrophic setback, they achieved a significant triumph, propelling their rocket into orbit. This achievement propels Firefly Aerospace into an exclusive league, the fifth U.S. launch company to reach this milestone. They now share this prestigious club with SpaceX, Rocket Lab, Virgin Orbit, and Astra. Answering orbit isn't a walk in the park. Elon Musk himself emphasized the arduousness of this task. Comparing reaching space to a relatively easy endeavor while entering orbit is a hundredfold more challenging. It's a testament to Firefly Aerospace's determination and engineering prowess. The accomplishment by Firefly Aerospace represents a positive initial step, a feat that other programs would typically take much longer to achieve instead of only two launches to accomplish that. When we consider space industry titans, an established giant comes to mind, tracing its roots back to the early 21st century. Surprisingly, this company, Blue Origin, has yet to launch any rockets into orbit. This contrast becomes glaring when juxtaposed with the achievements of a fledgling startup, making the seasoned player appear somewhat pitiful in comparison. The contrast between a company established in 2014 successfully launching an orbital rocket and a 2000 founded counterpart is a puzzling scenario. The truth, however, is quite stark for Blue Origin. Their flagship New Shepard, developed for suborbital space tourism, has only seen 24 launches in its 7 17-year tenure. Meanwhile, the highly awaited maiden voyage of the new Glenn, designed as a heavy-lift rocket capable of ferrying nearly 100,000 pounds into low Earth orbit, has faced numerous delays, stretching from one year to the next. This delay-laden history raises questions about Blue Origin's ability to match the achievements of newer entrants. With a projected launch window for New Glenn tentatively set for 2024, skepticism looms large, given the possibility of further delays. 
However, a potential ray of hope emerges in the form of Vulcan rocket launches powered by Blue Origin's BE-4 engine. The success of Vulcan's missions stands as a pivotal factor in gauging the potential of New Glenn's future prospects. The reliability and performance of Vulcan will significantly influence confidence in New Glenn's eventual launch and operational success. But what fuels these doubts and criticisms surrounding Blue Origin's initiatives? Blue Origin's vast resources and access to top tier engineering talent, coupled with Jeff Bezos' annual personal allocation of a billion US dollars toward the company, should position it among the leading space entities. With Bezos' immense wealth and ability to attract top global talent, Blue Origin possesses the crucial components necessary for transformative success in the space industry. Putting aside Bezos' motivational talks, it's important to acknowledge that Blue Origin grapples with substantial technical and cultural challenges, a situation no fledgling enterprise desires to navigate. Tom Markisik, the 49-year-old CEO of Firefly, boasts a background in prominent space endeavors across public and private sectors in the United States, spanning from NASA to SpaceX and even Blue Origin. Surprisingly, despite his extensive tenure at NASA and SpaceX, his stint at Blue Origin lasted merely two months. Naturally, there's a rationale behind this brief tenure. In an interview, Markusik reflected on his experience stating, I went to Blue Origin and was there very, very briefly for just two months. SpaceX had been just brutal and fast-paced and I thrived in that environment. But Blue Origin felt much more like a rich man's hobby. Perhaps due to his experience with major space corporations, Markizik has steered his company toward a more constructive developmental path, sidestepping a recurrence of Blue Origin's setbacks. Upon closer examination, Firefly exhibits striking resemblances to SpaceX, a shared spirit of experimentation, a willingness to embrace failure, and an unwavering commitment to continuous innovation. Having spent five years at SpaceX, Mark Zick regards Elon Musk as an inspirational figure, drawn to Musk's unwavering belief that every endeavor will achieve perfection and result in a fantastic outcome. There's a magnetic quality to Musk's mindset, influence innovators like the founder of Firefly Aerospace as they venture into uncharted territories and space exploration. They're steadily advancing toward their goals. Even though Firefly's third and fourth Alpha rocket launches in 2023 encountered issues, delivering the payload to the de designated orbit, they did reach low Earth orbit. It's only a matter of time before they embark on another audacious endeavor akin to SpaceX's ventures. Firefly's achievements have me considering the possibility of them becoming the next SpaceX in the private space sector. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below to join in on the conversation. With the completion of their final mission in 2023, what lies ahead for Firefly? The company is establishing a launch rhythm of around four missions annually or once every quarter in the upcoming year of 2024. Firefly's Alpha rocket, capable of carrying over a ton to low Earth orbit, has sparked interest from European clients. With a launch price of only $15 million, Alpha offers three times the payload capacity of a Rocket Lab Electron rocket, albeit at only twice the cost. In the future, Firefly remains dedicated to assisting Northrop in constructing even larger rockets, specifically the Antares 330 and the Medium Launch Vehicle or MLV for short. Both of these rockets are slated for flight in 2025. Concurrently, Firefly is aiming for a third quarter of 2024 launch for its Blue Ghost Moon Lander. This mission is set to transport payloads to the moon under a $93 million NASA Commercial Lunar Payload Services contract, or CLPS, if you will. If successful, Firefly has a second CLPS mission scheduled for 2026. The Blue Ghost's mass at 2.7 tons surpasses Alpha's capacity for carrying it. Additionally, the initial moon mission will occur before either the Antares 330 or MLV is operational. As a result, Firefly intends to undertake its inaugural moon excursion with the assistance from its competitor SpaceX, which will supply a Falcon 9 for this purpose. Finally, regarding Firefly's latest venture into in-orbit services, often referred to as space tugs, there is a significant development. 
Firefly acquired Spaceflight Incorporated, a private space company, and is contemplating the utilization of the Sherpa Space Tug concept previously owned by Spaceflight Incorporated. Combining its space utility vehicle concept with Spaceflight's Sherpa, Firefly is crafting a trio of space tugs, Dawn, Dusk, and Dark Elytra, or Elytra. These tugs are designed for various tasks like towing, refueling, and satellite repairs in Earth's orbit. Firefly is adopting a cautious strategy in this endeavor. Instead of presuming customers will flock to their service, Firefly is heading up a different approach. They'll offer the service first, secure a contract, and then equip the Elytra for the specific task. This pragmatic strategy prevents unnecessary investment in capabilities that might not attract buyers while still tapping into new revenue avenues. Firefly is gearing up for its inaugural Elytra launch next year, aimed at deploying an Extenti satellite dispenser to multiple orbits, carrying various U.S. government satellites. In this mission, Firefly is responsible for crafting both the rocket platform and the space tug, leaving the remaining operations to Extenti. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. What are your thoughts on Firefly's ambitious plans for the upcoming Elytra launch? And considering their partnership with SpaceX for the initial moon mission, how do you see the future of collaborative efforts in the space industry? Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. And for that, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a wonderful new year.